I want to say I have a practice, you know. All right, uh, but so what do I do? Brr, brr, like that? What would I do? Yeah, man. Well, anyway, thank yeah. you for joining us. Yeah, you know, it's so the internet support. I'm like, I can't repeat about the question. Yeah, well, I'm big up to the whole like, the East Side fans and with the panel live and all. The whole East Side, big up on the side. Them and I probably just said, Miss I Universe, big up the whole Vibes magazine. Is that? Want to shout out Boom Shots who put this all together. And, you know, we've all been supporting Skilly for a while now. And, you know, so exciting that today you have this amazing. And, you know, people have been saying, is there 24 tracks on the mixtape? Is there is it 35 tracks? Yeah, 35. Banga. You hear that? What a amazing body of work, by the way. Congratulations on this. It's uh, like before you were come, before you came on, I was just saying, you know, you are the face of the hottest artists out of, one of the hottest artists out of Jamaica right now. I'm one of the faces of dancehall, but I'm currently the face of the new era of dancehall music. And big up to the young kids and the young set of dancehall crowd, we really are taking on to scaling, you know? So just right. Type crowd said you guys are kind of the young kids and young people um, and support skill things so big up yeah and shout out to you by the way it's your birthday today happy birthday is it oh yeah. blessed earth strong and i mean the reason why i release the mixtape on the 23rd because i really do want to do this for my, for my birthday last year which is my return 23 last year for my 23rd birthday oh but wow i'm gonna just do it back again for this year I don't know. He talk. Is there? Yeah. Well, look, I just would like to say it's been an amazing year for you. And, you know, in so many ways, it's been a weird year, you know, the coronavirus. But one thing, you know, when I was, you know, every time I listen to, you know, Mr. Universe, you always say, like, from before corona, me social distance. So how do you manage to lock the place in the middle of a pandemic? <laughs> I mean, it's just to stay current and always have material for my fans. You see what I say? And a lot of people would love to connect fans through social media platforms. I mean, in a lot of the fans, but I just continuously to feed my music. Feed them with music continuously and always have material. So you don't know. It's just that's the difference with Skilly Bang overall. Yeah? You know, I I just saw you dropped a video for Knock, you know, um, and there's some artists, new artists on there too. Tell us about some of the artists that you're featured, who's featured on that song. Yeah, man, that song, there was just a whole product of Skilly Bang himself, even I'm a fan of everything, I don't know. Big up to the artist, them. Quenga, I don't know. My artist, that big up to Crazy Shot, which is FS. I don't know. I mean, the set of my artists, them are part of Big up to Street Jenna and One Sparks, but really far from Bull Bay. They're the only person where you know, far from the eastern area of St. Thomas. Where, you know, that's where big up to the whole of the youth, them, where they are part of that chat. Big up to Popcorn, because Popcorn really inspired the music video because it wasn't really a planting, it was natural. So you don't know, big up to Popcorn, really can Shout out to Popcorn and the Unruly Camp. I mean, it's been a really big year for the east side between. Popcorn, Jada Kingdom, shout out to Jada, and yourself. You know, like, what is it about St. Thomas that make you all flow so crazy? I mean, I can't tell you, it's, it's just a God-given talent to we as Eastern people. And we have to just continue to use it in a positive way, you know? But I, I, I'm alone, I can't blame. But that's right. what... <laughs> Well, you know, you've been actually doing music for a while. You know, you went to Morant Bay High School, I think. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. And, and from what I understand, shout out to Morant Bay High School and all the people. Yeah. That from what I understand, like, you know, you did your first song straight after school, right? Um, is it uh, mm. uh, Brain Parts? Yeah, yeah. That's the first official recording. And that was after school, immediately after school. Wow. Yeah, so but... what, is, what was going 
song with you then and what inspired that song? That that <laughs> song is a weed song because you know them time they with a smoke. In your brain? Yeah, I don't know. And we usually listen to a lot of Vibes Cartel too. Big up to Vibes Cartel, who are really my mentor in music. And we, we usually listen to a lot of Vibes Cartel. And it, Vibes Cartel also had a song on that instrumental, which was the CD scan. Yeah. Instrumental. And, 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 and I think that was by Chris Rock. Big up to Chris Rock. And that was just a natural uh, project, you know? We just did all our vibes. I don't know. We had to sing. <laughs> and I decided to it from some of those guys' studio and record it. And it became a song in the parish of St. Thomas. And I mean, Skilly Ben capitalized upon that. And the parish of St. Thomas, not fully, but you don't know, to come see what I go on in the, in, in, in the rest of Jamaica and realize that not everybody knew Skilly Ben. And this is where we make the transition for kind of TF Central, which for music, I go on. I don't know, forget a lot of people who know me and know my music, and this is how it started. I mean, as you mentioned, CT Scan was on the same juggling as um, Brain Parts. So it's such a, uh, it must, and as Cartel, you know, he's a world boss, as, you know, it must be such a, amazing feeling for both of those songs were on the same juggling like really juggling hard and not to mention cartel reached out to you to be part you know featured on his um of dons and divas this year congratulations how did that make you feel yeah man uh, as a as a as a as a young youth we look up to vibes cartel and cartel to me i mean it's a blessed feel that and big up to vibes cartel again because not everybody get for, 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 for deal with have a even conversation with the mind at a certain way. So you don't know that if if it's killing, you don't know. It amazing. Well, again, congrats on all the work. I wanna, you know, before we talk about the mix up, I also want to mention your twenty eighteen um you had a really, really inspirational song called Life by Life. I really love that song because, you know, and I always feel like it doesn't get that much love, but I love the way you talk on that song. You talk about how much you love your life, how much you love your family. It's really an inspirational song. You know, that was something that I don't think, you know, people love things like Brick on Brick and they remember you for Crocodile Teeth and, but this song you did like two years ago is really a different vibe. Yeah, 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 yeah. And Skilling always has other different vibes to compile with the, with, with the mad set of music. Them, I always have them kind of music. Always. Even on the mixtape now, I have certain songs like that with that vibe. I have a song named One Life. Right. I have a next song named All Life So Sweet feature in Quenga FS. Again, I have a song named Good Times. Good Times, eh? Good. Yeah. And a and, and couple other tracks, so you don't. My well, we. Feed my family the vibes there sometimes because I know some people kind of rely upon them energy there for go through them day and I kind of feel it. They are uplifting vibes. I always have something like that. So big up to Life for Life. That project was. A long time project. Inspired, the video was inspired by um my boss Stanley Eastside. So you don't know that go. It was just a, a kick off where we are start from. Well, you know, I have to say, no matter what you talk about, you have this very original style. You know, your flows are crazy, and it seems like you have a very unique you know, where you deliver your flows, the way you sound is unique, you know, what is that process? Like, what is the process for putting your flows together? Do you write your music first? Do you think of, do you listen to the uh, rhythm first? Like, you don't sound like no one I know out of, you know, doing uh, what you're doing. Well, is is I just go with the vibes still. When I really choose what I got to do today, I choose what I got to do before a project. Um, a song really starts from the instrumental or lyrics. Any what any anyone no matter to me. But we start a song first and then me hear a rhythm and put it on the me hear a rhythm and start made the song 
And I mean, a long time skipping to go write a song. I've been freestyling since lately in the studio. So it's, it's, just a, it's just a natural thing. It's not a put together process when we are going to. Is that what you think people gravitate to you in Jamaica? Because you, like we talk about, you know, you are the face of the new, you know, dancehall era. People have a lot to say about like the new trap dancehall. Some people have great things to say about it. some people don't you know it's always the same in every genre you know when new things happen there's opinions but like do you think the reason that people really gravitate to you ultimately is because you just talk about realness and you can be relatable yeah that also but skill also as a uniqueness in his sound and as you say in my lyrics too people can because I'm a lyric, I'm a vibes overall, you know. It's just a different energy overall. It's a different energy. We just bring something different to the table, mama. Where they never expect none. Of them. Yeah, man, a bad way about them. Is it? I mean, yes. And I like. I would like to for people who have just joined us, and you know, for the vibe audience, you know, I want to just ask you how you picked your DJ name, Skilly Ben, because that actually is goes back to the 90s dance hall because you know from what i understand it's like a sound that djs say like booda boom or skilly bang you know so is that was that was that one of the reasons you picked skilly bang as your name yeah because maria like say going to dance hall from in the 90s up until even up until even the late dance hall, the people say that as a slang and as approach, me always pre my approach as to be different. I'm gonna tell me tell my fans them that I already say when the name Skilly Ben come about, me a pre say, you know, it no must have a meaning. It can right. it can represent for the culture of dance and kinda of run with the name. So the name was kinda of from just a slang. Like, uh, we usually listen to Flipper Mafia too and Flipper Mafia say a couple times to me. I said, wait, him still I said this. So it was just a thing for what we don't really like where we are running from. Another vibe, just like another natural vibe thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I want to I, I wanna talk to you about Brick Pond Brick because it's a song that, you know, I hear over and over again. I want to shout out my title, Massive, and shout out to you um, for those who know or don't know, you know, I'm the reggae and dancehall curator at Tidal and your song, Brit Pomp Brit, was something like I remember putting in our lists and, uh, you know, it's in, you know, you've been the face of Dancehall Massive, which is, you know, the flagship dancehall playlist. Um, and, you know, when you listen, <laughs> when you listen to that song, you know, I've heard a lot of people say a lot of different things about that song because you're really talking about scammers and some people see as glorifying scammers and you know we we've all we know about this situation in Jamaica where there's a scamming lottery scamming um, things that hit the news all the time um, but I recently you did an interview that was on boom shots shout out to boom shots game where you said you know the the truth about scamming is that people scam because they have to. And what is the situation, you know, again, that going back to what I was saying earlier, you know, people, you seem to embrace what the reality is and put it in your music, you know? So, uh, you know, you don't seem to be scared about putting out reality in your songs, whether that is seen as negative or seen as positive. You don't label things like that. No, no, no. Because, I mean, people like that kind of adrenaline rush there where they get from, from, from truth, from the truth, you know? It just give them the realness to say, where you can even, because what I say, yo, I create cinema for ears, you know? Yeah, you know, if you listen to my song, them, you know, when I'm a song, I tell you, so I create cinema for ears. Right. That kind of thing where you have to get that feeling there from the music like it's real. And if you don't feel that way, then okay, we can't enjoy it as real music love. You have to be natural and be something where special. 
yeah you can't just push stuff out put shit out i guess like i was gonna say for the sake of putting it out a lot of people african relate to it that's how you're gonna say it. it's the truth right the more people can... so. so you know on that note of talking about what your music does. I mean, Crocodile Teeth is another one, you know. Oh, by the way, shout out and big up to Johnny Wanda. Wanda, you know that's it, nigga. G, man. You don't know. That was an easy hit for with Johnny. Yeah, Johnny Wanda on that, you know. I know you have, you know, you know, I think, I know one thing is St. Thomas has a lot of rivers and they say there's a lot of crocodiles in, the, <laughs> in rivers in Jamaica. Is there? Uh... It, yeah, it, it was really. It's but it's fun. not really that. It's to do with uh, something else, right? <laughs> yeah, is it? It's so you're lining up the bullets in the rifle, right? And the reason I bring up the rifle and the bullets because again, I want to shout out your new mixtape. You know, I love it. I noticed that out of thirty-five tracks, I don't know, man. I mean, is it like almost thirty tracks? Is like gun tracks, you know, my gun, shell out, uh, bad every day, I don't know, grumpy, you know, is it really like that in the east side? Is east side wilding like that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, my mama. You just said something a while ago to me, you know, and you said something about scamming and, you know, free it, and you have to just put the whole of that together and see what I go on, you know? Yeah, man. Holy mama. And you know, big up to everybody who has support that song, the crocodile teeth, even the little juvenile, him because they might take on to it and not put the lip on the life too. So, you know, to one go there, so is there? Well, anyway, shout out to you for keeping it real, and shout out to you know, you know, people are enjoying your stuff for a reason. So, you're relating to the youth, you're relating to a cr cross genre. You know, we're here today on Vibe. I'm so glad that you're able to come and like talk to us about it. Cause I think, you know, exactly. like I was saying earlier, a lot of people have different things to say about, like always have different things to say about new faces, new generations. But, you know, I see you crossing boundaries too, you know, I saw you in the studio with young MA, you know, she yeah. came to check you from Brooklyn. No, she didn't come to check me, but we were doing studio work together. Well, she checked you while she was in Jamaica. <laughs> No, that's a fool. <laughs> Younger me, I do. Was there music? Is there music coming? Music, there's definitely music. There's two that were going on between us, but um, because of the pandemic, I wouldn't think she she'd make a trip to Jamaica now. You know. Right, but she, you know, well, you know, people do what what they want to do. You know, even in a pandemic, so that's a big respect. I even see, you know. Papi, all in your videos, he supported you. That's a huge look for you. How did you link with him? I mean, Papi is a is a is a Eastern, is a Eastern artist and in fact from Saint Thomas, and that's really how me and Popcorn link. And Popcorn has been a mentor for Skilly Bang in music from even high school days when we listen Gaza and Papi the music from them time. Then we have, yeah, we can do it because I mean, he's a Eastern youth and we have. To from where do and capitalize on that and see what we can. I mean, big up to Popcorn because he's been a Jamaica and he's been a make the world see Jamaica. So big up to Popcorn because he's kind of have a chat with Skilliben career in terms of even unruly face and something. Uh, the, the amount of color with me and Popcorn are soon and countable. So is a big up to Papi. Yeah, I mean, always, I, I think it's always nice when people always support like new generation artists because I'm sure this is very difficult to just come out and you know shell down the place when you know people don't support so it's always shout out to all those artists to always support and bring other artists forward and shout out to the whole Unruly crew and Dre Island I know he's on the yeah, um, yeah. Yeah. you know and I also saw that um you had some nice feature uh, at the video you had recently i think it was not has a nice cameo with dave east in it so you know you kind of got like the whole crew and the vibe i can tell that was just vibes i, I mean what was that i, I saw mean, in 
I saw in the Dave East video shoot with Popcorn, he was in Jamaica, so I assume that all stemmed from there. Yeah, 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 yeah. It all stemmed from there. And I mean, that song was, the song, the music video that they was involved in was some feature with me and Popcorn for his mixtape. Oh, yes, yes, Have yes. It. Yeah, which was recently number one and changing. So that's how Davey is yeah. part of the music video. That's when he was here for his vacation. So we go up to Davey. I don't know. Davey say he side fully. And anybody say he side fully, I don't know. He side, I go say that. <laughs> you know, I saw you in the lockdown video, Coffee's lockdown video. Um, I must say, you know, when I did the live with Coffee, she bigged you up. So it's really nice that. You know, it seems like, you know, she was saying how she's like another artist who's doing really well. Shout out to Coffee. And she was, you know, telling me like she is another artist who is like really has great support from a lot of people. And she gets on with a lot of people. And it's cool that, you know, there's different kinds of, of music types, but you all seem to get on. How did you link with Coffee? Coffee, you know, so the first time. I'm, I'm... What? Sorry, say that again. The first time I meet coffee, get for me, coffee was in a parking lot. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, it was in a parking lot. It wasn't not, not musically like, you know. But then a parking lot and going, hey, you want a coffee that time? I'm going to look at she for two. You don't know. She never did that. She the part people, but you don't know. Never scared. So I just yell her up and you don't know. I saw we make a link and from this so. Coffee been a support my music even before I know her because she said oh, she was a big fan of Skilly Bang. And he said, from even yes. before. Yes, a big up to Coffee. I don't Is know. Kind of one of the faces of the new era of the sound from Jamaica to you know them things that go so. We have to just go on to the work and do what I do. I hear that there might be some collab in the works. Yeah, man. Me and Coffee been a nice studio, man. Me no, yeah, me and Kathy been in at the studio. And we, we have a collab already, but you don't know. The people in my photo school. Yeah. That's what about, it. Why, why don't you give us a little preview, like a snippet? Snippet. <laughs> no snippet. No snippet. <laughs> All right. Well, you know, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much. Happy birthday once again. Congratulations on the new mixtape. Shout out to all the East Side Massive. Shout out to your record yeah. label, your team. Mm. Do you want to say anything to your fans? East Side. Okay. Yeah, man. I've been talk to my fans and I show my fans them. Be a love car. My fans them. I love them body no more. Yeah, man. Every, every person who say East Side, no matter have a different kind of respect for them. You don't know. So big up everybody with me on the live, yeah. I don't know, no stream the mixtape or stream the prodigy or the second edition of the prodigy. This, so you say, big up yourself. You want to le leave us with a little freestyle? Say them is bad, them is not. Load up that clip that the pan belly one, so that he a key upon it and put the rifle there with this coat on the stand. Yeah, man, yeah, the side down, movie boss of the pin head, Maros Pass of Pakistan. He's the binelli. You say, you see. <laughs> All right, big up yourself, Skilly Bang. Bless us strong, and until we meet next time. Yeah, Momo, big up Vice Magazine, is it? Wicked. Bye bye.